Wow, yes, people, what's going on? Hope everyone's had a nice start to their Monday. Um, the weather is dreadful here in Cardiff, but I thought I'd come on and give you my um, my Monday video, seeing as I just drop one every once a week now on this channel. Um, just to have a little recap on how the weekend went and you know how things are going for this week. So, um, first of all, I just want to say a big thank you to... Um, Dan Rundle, uh, the prison officer who come on our podcast the other week, it came out last night, um, thank you very much. I know you deactivated your social media and that because obviously where you just left the system, you was quite nervous to like speak up about certain things that happened in the jail, but you've got nothing to worry about mate, you, 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 you've done it proud, so be proud of yourself Dan and I'm glad you've come back on now. We did try to get you on a live last night to do a, a reflection because obviously it would have been nice and that's what we're trying to do now but we'll try and get you on later if we can um just to let people know like I, we've been doing lives on the central club but one thing i want to set the record straight now is we won't be doing lives every other day or every day we're not going to saturate our channel we're going to stick to once a week we're going to do a live probably a monday then the sunday a uh, sunday then the monday might break it up, I don't know, but at the moment, that's how it's looking. So, a big thank you to Dan Rundle. Need to quit these. This is the bad thing, right? So, before I start, I just want to say, today I started no fizzy drink today. I'm on the bottled water. Um, I need to lose weight. <clears throat> you know, at the beginning, like you know when you you know when you get clean off drugs, yeah. You could go. Like, I was skinny, yeah, and I put loads of weight on. So, people were just like, oh, man, I'm like, I'm, I'm big. And they're like, nah, nah, you're healthy, you're healthy. Yeah, I'm healthy in the terms of I'm not a skinny, drawn, pale-faced person anymore. But if I never, ever took drugs and you looked at me on how I am now, I'm unhealthy. I'm a big guy. I'm not fat, fat, but, you know, I'm not happy with the way I am. And I am unfit. So I'm going to stick to the waters. That's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm not drinking any fizzy drinks or nothing. And I'm trying to uh, go with the water. I'm cut down on the meat. I'm just trying to go veg. I'm fussy as well with food. So we're just going to see how that goes. But today's the first day. It's going all right. So um, yesterday we filmed two episodes and they were amazing. First one, we done Andrew Selby. Now, uh, people in Wales especially, loads of people have messaged me, get Andrew Selby on, get Lee Selby, get the both of them on. Spoken to Lee now, he wants to come on as well, apparently. Um, he said it, so, and Andrew said he will as well, so happy days. Andrew Selby, <clears throat> his interview yesterday was amazing. We had him on the Christmas special, but it was only brief, just to see how he is. But this one goes in personal, goes in deep with his story. Um, the injuries, the highs and lows, the the dropouts, the the addictions, and you know he was in the team GB with uh, Anthony Joshua, the London 2012. He was a poster boy for boxing, and he was expected to do big things. And he is actually got the talent to back it. He is a world class boxer. So we had him on, um, and hopefully we can help with his comeback now, pushing him up to to get back up in, in into sports uh, which would be a great thing but most importantly he's not he's not drinking alcohol and he's not taking valium no more and that's the main thing secondly we done kobe flowers now guys if you don't know who kobe flowers was is sorry uh, he's a very talented uh very talented uh, very genuine uh person um he could have went pro rugby played at a very high level but now he coaches grassroots rugby gets all the kids who were unprivileged off the estates trying to get him into rugby but what the aim of the interview was he's got hodgkin's disease um hodgkin's lymphoma i think it's called it's a form of cancer uh and basically he's uh, still not all in, in the all clear but it's so inspiring to see what he'd done and what he achieved whilst he was going through chemo and radiotherapy now <clears throat> it's come back and because of covid uh, and other reasons um he's been delayed his, uh, his his appointment his operation and uh, his sister and his other members of family and friends have set up a gofundme i will put the gofundme link in this if i don't put it in this i will post it separately but guys if you get over on instagram kobe flowers if you can help donate to the gofundme uh, it's for a good cause 
is to save this guy's life potentially. Do you know what I mean? So yesterday was great. Like we had some great guests, and um, it, it was nice to do to go back to the positive stuff. Do you know what I mean? Because as you all know, guys, um, we've had some guests on lately, and 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 especially one of them, we've taken the episode down because we just. We just don't want nothing to do with that poisonous stuff. Do you know what I mean? Um, I could I could fight my corner about it being, you know, we're just interviewers at the end of the day and we're just trying to draw facts. But, yeah, for now, until, like, we we see this fit, we all sat down, we had a conversation, and we decided to take it down. It's as simple as that. So, yeah. Tomorrow, now, I'm in work. Um, it's been a bad day today, so I work from home. But tomorrow, with Voices Action Change, we're doing a walk and talk. Uh, me and Lilla have organised a walk and talk. It's the first meeting we've had back since um, since last year, just before Christmas, where we had 17 people come. So hopefully tomorrow, um, instead of going in the church, we're going to go for a walk and talk for you know multiple of reasons. Number one, to burn off the mince pies and get walking and you know just to feel good getting outdoors. But also um, there's a lot of people um, who you gotta respect with, with COVID who don't wanna be in a confined building. So we're gonna go out and walk tomorrow. So if there's anyone who sees this from Cardiff who wants to come, St. John's Church, 11 o'clock, be there or DM me and uh, yeah, we'll, we're gonna go in there, have a meet up, have a coffee and just have a little chat. It'd be nice, man, you know? So just trying to get back in the routine of these uh, meets we've been setting up with a lot of people in recovery. So that's good. Um, also, now, uh, going forward, like I said, I think um, we'll, we'll, we'll just do one live a week. Uh, keep it at that, but trust me, guys, we've got more content coming in the midweeks, which won't be live. It's going to be more content uh, with me and Luca. Um, probably just going to be talking about everyday things. Like, we used to do catch-ups, but now we're just going to do... Um, probably once a week or once every two weeks, an episode in the middle of the week where it's just me and him answering people's questions, um, you know, talking about what's going on in the world and that type of stuff. So that should be interesting. And then obviously on a Sunday, as if it's church, the episodes will be there consistent without a shadow of a doubt. Got some great guests lined up now in the next couple of weeks. Um, obviously, Andrew Selby's well known. Kobe isn't as much, as much. But the next two guests we got, like, I wish I could just tell you, like, but trust me, they're massive. And they're people that people have been nagging us to get on. So, you know, we're doing it not just for us, we're doing it for the guys who, who support us. So, I think I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I, um, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I want to send my love to everyone in the YouTube world who's doing their thing. God bless you all. I wish you all the best. And I'll see you all soon, guys. Yeah? Stay safe, stay positive, and stay central.